Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with Be Creative. The other day, I found this in the trash. And on my community page, I had asked y'all what you thought it was. Let me give you a little closer look. We got four drawers here. I think it was probably used to put some tools in, but I'm not really for sure. Here's the top of it. Side. And it's a pretty substantial piece. Likewise, it comes almost to my knees. After I clean it up, I'm not really for sure what I'm going to do with it. I just thought it was pretty cool. Do y'all have any suggestions on what I might be able to use it for? Soon after my neighbor had that in his trash, he also had this in his trash. <laughs> my son is the one who discovered it. At first, we really didn't know what it was. My son thought, oh, it looks like maybe a shoe rack, but I didn't think it was a shoe rack. And then someone else said it was a quilt rack. And because it doesn't have a whole lot of scratches on it, I think that's exactly what it is, is a quilt rack. As soon as I saw this on the side of the road, I knew exactly what I was going to use it for. You see, I had an event coming up. It was a bazaar and art sale. And I was gonna have my jewelry there. And I needed a display for some necklaces that I had. Usually I have them on the table and it just looks messy and they get tangled up. And this was perfect to hang all my necklaces on. And you know what? Everybody could see them and they love looking at them. I'm really glad I got this out of the trash. Have you ever picked things out of your neighbor's trash on the side of the road? I have, and so has my dad, and we have had some pretty cool finds. I found this chair in the trash on the side of the road one time, and I brought it home and painted it up. This was a really fun activity. Here's another find <laughs> that I saw in the trash one time. Four chairs, and they were in pretty decent condition, except for the what was underneath here was like that um, straw seating, and it was kind of roughed up. So I just reupholstered it. Now this thing was pretty cool. I think it's a tomato crate. And it was pretty old. It was actually found in a parking lot. And so we just put our shoes in there, the ones that we just throw on to go outside. Now, of all the things that I've actually found on the side of the road, this was probably the most interesting. It's just a average picture frame, it's a little fancy. But when I found it, it had part of the picture in it. It had been cut. The center had been cut out of the picture so you could just see the, the edge of what the picture was and it was a wedding picture. I think somebody might have gotten bad, mad at somebody else and maybe even a divorce. <laughs> anyway, I pulled all that off and I just added some screen to it and this makes a really good display for earrings. So this thing right here is probably one of my favorite finds. When I found this, it, it was a neighbor. <laughs> uh, it was broken. I don't know if you can see right there and right there. It was actually the top of it was broken and it was kind of rusty and all. And I thought, you know, that would make a really good display for my adjustable bracelets at craft fairs. And so I brought it home and my husband, bless his heart, <laughs> he got it all fixed up for me. He glued it all together, sanded it down, and we painted it black. And you know, I think I have a video about this on my Tapping Flamingo, AKA the Bohemian Hippie. I'll try to see if I can find it and leave a link to that video down in the description box below. You know, as I sit here and look at this, this would make a really good wall hanging or something. I need to use it besides just at craft fairs. 
So anyway, next time you're walking in your neighborhood, look for some interesting finds on the side of the road. You never know what you might find. You know, today, if I would have been quick, I think there was something over there. Oh well, I missed out. Thanks for joining me and y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with Be Creative, signing out for now. Bye-bye.